Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, uh, we, s we were able to calm and capture Pakria after a bit of difficulty. And now we are going to visit the Free Lakes before we continue on our journey. Starting with the lake in our hometown. Let's go to Verity and meet with Masprit. Masprit flew off somewhere. Donnie, that was Masprit, wasn't it? You've accomplished what I asked you to do at the Canavive Library. I asked you to get data on the Pokemon of the lake like you did. But it didn't prove, uh, provide any answers about the mysteries of evolution. I still don't know why some Pokemon evolve and others don't. Ultimately, it only deepens the mystery. But having mysteries to solve, that adds to my enjoyment. Donnie, why don't you chase after Masperit? To me, it seems as if it wanted to play with you. If you were able to use the Marking Erking Map app on your Poketch, you will be able to track the movements of Pokemon. Go on, Donnie. I'm sure you will keep meeting countless Pokemon and people. Those encounters will keep f thrilling you in their own special ways. I hope you will enjoy that experience. Take care, Donnie. So like Rowan mentioned, if we go to our Poketch and go to the map app, if I can find it, we can see exactly where Masperit's location is, so you can plan accordingly. However, there is a catch. Masperit does not stay in one location for too long. After a certain period of time, Masperit will move to another route, and whenever you go to another route, out or city, um, you will it'll force Masperit to move to another location. So you essentially have to chase it around and hope you can uh, get it to a route where you are in in order to corner and ca and fight it. As I've mentioned, I extremely hate roaming legendaries because again, you have to chase after them, you have to try and catch them, and also the fact of the matter is that they don't stay in the battle. They run away a eh, the soon as their turn comes around. I'm glad starting with X and Y, they sort of phased out roaming Pokemon so they are no longer a thing in newer games, but because this was being faithful, they decided to bring roaming encounters back for this game. And I'm not going to get anywhere if I'm going to be constantly bombarded by Psyducks. And also, in case you're wondering, flying also forces the uh, roaming legendary to move from their lo current location. So as we see here, we fly to this town right here. Masquerade has moved to the other side of Sinnoh. So typically I find these two routes are the best way to get Masprit the move. As you go back and forth between the routes, you might be lucky and get Masprit the move into the location you want. Or just like, get a random encounter by a random Pokemon, that's completely fine. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth until I eventually get Masprit into this location and then yeah, we'll hopefully try and capture it.
Okay, I got Masper to appear in the route on in. Now the problem is, you have to find it through random encounter. Now I have Papa save, so if it decides to move, I can just close the game and reload from the save. But yeah, you have to try and find it through random encounter. It doesn't. It isn't just hanging out in one particular spot in the route for you to go find. You have to find it in via random encounter. And I think it, you, the game only gives you so many encounters before Masper gets bored and moves to another location. And I believe it gives Masper the 5% and rarity. Did Masper just move locations? Yep, Masper got bored of my shit and move. Okay, we're reloading a save. You should run into. Okay, so we're gonna force this encounter. So here's a little trick. Go to your boxes and get a Pokemon that's around level 40. Especially since I know all the Pokemon around here are generally are generally lower level than anything else in the route. Have that Pokemon be in your party and then put it in the lead and use a repel. Because it will repel Pokemon of lower levels, which do I even have any re Please tell me I have repels. Oh, thank God. I was about to say, it's like, I know I should have a few repels. It will make us that way, Masper should be the only thing we run into. So it doesn't get bored and run away. So Masper, level 50. A pure psychic with the ability to levitate with the moves, imper imprison, accessory, charm, and psychic. Because I hate roaming legendary so much. Get in a Master Ball! And Masperate is ours! It sleeps at the bottom of a lake. Its spirit is said to leave its body to fly on the lake's surface. Send it to the box. And we've just got ourselves mass spread. So we'll end the episode off here. In the next episode, we'll go after the next lake egg Pokemon. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the videos. It helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode. And share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. I'll see you all next time. Later.